Meanwhile, back here at home, residents in Woodhull are still recovering from the wrath of Tropical Storm Fred last year. And despite local support coming from Steuben County, many are still in need of a helping hand. WNY's Sam Shapiro shares how some people are still in need and how they spoke out this afternoon. New York state leaders gathered in Woodhull this afternoon over a year after Tropical Storm Fred swept through the southern tier and they came out today in calling for support from the state. Many residents across Steuben County are still rebuilding from damage caused by the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred. The storm swept through the area on August 18th, 2021, leaving behind millions of dollars in damages. State lawmakers and local leaders are now calling on direct state funding for the people still struggling to recover. We're here about getting that individual assistance, the direct assistance grants from the state to help those individuals to sustain damage to their homes and to their small businesses. FEMA denied direct individual assistance to Steuben County residents who suffered damages. In February, the state announced a million dollars in emergency repair grants were available, but the details of that program aren't clear. We just don't have details on how the reimbursable retroactive funding of the repairs that have already been made can be tapped into. Stacy Foster is a Woodhall resident whose property suffered major damages. She had to spend money she was saving for a new project on repairs, and it still wasn't enough to cover it all. She feels financial aid would not only repair the neighborhood, but also lift the spirit of many Woodhall residents. And you just look at your house and like, why bother? Why bother putting the flowers out front when I'm still trying to repair something else? So, um, you know, we may be able to all start making our little community look better. And people still in need of some aid can reach out to Arbor Housing and Development, Catholic Charities, or ProAction of Stubate and Yates counties to see if they're eligible for any additional funding that might still be available. Reporting from Woodhall, Sam Shapiro, WENY News.